Okay, we're gonna get really real in this video. I'm not wearing any face makeup. I'm wearing a little mascara and eyebrows, but no face makeup. Now, to be completely honest, many YouTubers don't talk about this, but <laughs> the ring light blows all imperfections away. So it's really hard to see. But there we go, there's a pimple, there's a end of a pimple. This is my skin, guys. There we go, okay? <laughs> Back to light. Woo. Hello, my babies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Lior Alexandra. Welcome to the baby elephant community. On this channel, we talk about the law of attraction, spirituality, self-development, and so much more. Today is Friday, and I usually do a Q&A Friday, but I was scrolling through all the questions that I received on Instagram, and if you're not following me already on Instagram, you should be. That's where I collect questions for Q&A Fridays. It's at Lior Alexandra. It will be right here, at Lior Alexandra. I collect the questions on my Instagram story. I ask for them about once a week or once every two weeks. And today, it was kind of synchronistic, as is a lot of things currently in my life. Um, I've been wanting to do a video about my skin and how I cleared up my skin and what I do to keep my skin clear, but I kept putting it off. And then today I woke up and I had to do this Q&A Friday, but I didn't feel like putting on a whole face of makeup. So I'm scrolling through the comments, I'm scrolling through the questions, and I got three questions, three, about manifesting clear skin. So I'm like, you know what? This is a sign if I've ever seen one, right? So today I'm going to tell you the five things that I did to clear up my skin. Out of all these five things, because I did them all at once and my skin cleared up at once, I did get rid, I, I did stop doing all of them and then did one at a time to see what worked the most. And the last step, the last tip that I'm going to share with you is the one that I continuously use, that I continue to do throughout the entire time that I was manifesting clear skin. There's actually two, but one is a physical product that I was actually using. And by the way, this video isn't sponsored. And the last is something that I was actually doing myself. I hope that this will help you guys out. I'm not a dermatologist, obviously. I have no no um, background with skin. I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not anything like that. I'm just sharing with you what helped me and worked, what worked for me. So if you guys are not aware, I talked about this a lot on Instagram, in my Facebook groups, I talked about this on live streams, I talked about this in some vlogs and in some videos. Around January of this year, kind of when my awakening process started, I started breaking out. And now my skin has always been really, really clear, really even, just really nice skin. I've always had pretty decent skin. I've definitely never had breakouts. Even when I was younger, I would get like maybe a few pimples when I was a teenager. Then I got on birth control and I never had one pimple. And I've been off birth control for four years and now I've been on off of birth control for four years, but even when I was off it, I never had any skin issues. So suddenly in January, I don't know if I have any pictures. If I do, I'll put them here. I'm not sure if I do. But suddenly in January, I started developing acne all here, all on my cheeks, all over here. It was everywhere, and it was something that I was really, really not used to. It was definitely like adult acne. I saw a lot of people tag me in things that show you like adult acne is usually around here and here, but I actually kind of had it everywhere except not on my nose. And it came out of nowhere, and I was so confused. And I, I was really confused, but I wasn't so upset about it because you know, it's just a physical thing and I felt like I'm still beautiful. I'm beautiful from the inside and that one, that's what matters. So I wasn't like overly concerned about it, but I was trying to be proactive about fighting it. So there are a few things that I started to do and I'm going to go through them in a list. And it took me about two months to completely clear my skin. Now I do have this pimple. I am getting my menstrual cycle though, so it could be from that. But Overall, you guys see my skin, you saw it, pretty damn clear. So, 
happy with it. The first thing that I did is I stopped eating gluten. Now I did go back to eating gluten and now I have it about once or twice a week if I feel like it, like I'll have a meal with some sourdough or if I'm traveling, I will eat gluten. I was eating gluten in Japan and in Hawaii, but in the beginning, when I stopped eating gluten, I was convinced that that's what cleared up my face. However, since I've started eating gluten again, the acne has not come back so it could have been a mixture of everything together but I have looked into this and there are studies that show that gluten can make you break out so I do have a gluten insensitivity I cannot digest gluten very well I get very bloated all my fingers get bloated my ankles my face everything gets super super bloated when I have gluten and I also get congested and I can't really breathe. So I know that gluten does do something to my body physically and when I removed it from my diet I did see a de decrease in the acne and I've talked about this with many people and a lot of other people have noticed that their skin cleared up when they removed gluten. So you could try that out maybe a few months without gluten it's better for you anyways. Gluten is very hard for us to digest and the reason why is because of this gluten that we have in wheat right now in the wheat that we have in this modern society looks completely different. It's a completely di different genetic makeup than the wheat that we used to consume even 50 years ago. They have mutated wheat so completely and the level of gluten has risen so high that it's really hard for humans to digest it. So it often plays different roles in the body and creating negative outcomes in the body. So that might be something that is harming you. The second thing I tried it is, is I started taking a zinc supplement. I had no idea about this, but apparently zinc supplements help with acne. Um, make sure that you get one that is third party tested for purity or whatever. On Amazon, it usually lists it if it's third party tested. I started taking that and I saw an immediate um, reduction in acne. Now, again, this was hand in hand with the gluten thing. So your guess is as good as mine. But like I said, towards the end, I stopped doing everything except for two things. So I can say that this was all a program of actively and consciously combating this new hormonal changes, these new hormonal changes that I'm, I was experiencing. So I have this facialist here in Los Angeles and I went to her because I, my face was just a mess and I was like, Christine, can you please help me? Like I need, I don't, I, you know, you've, ne you've never seen my skin like this. I'm not sure what's happening. And it just so happened that I had set my intention a week before seeing her that I wanna find a whole skincare line of vegan, cruelty-free, organic, all natural, um, you know, paraben free, all this stuff, really, really clean skincare system. And I thought it would be so expensive, it would be so hard to find it. It turns out Christine, a woman in LA, you know, a local over here, created her own all natural products, her, her own all natural skincare line out of necessity. So she is a celebrity facialist. She does all these celebrities. She does all these different skin types. And she noticed that all these different skincare lines have all these synthetic ingredients and these chemicals that could cause us really bad harm. They could cause cancer. They could cause diseases. They're just really bad things to be putting on our body. So she created this all natural line and she gave me the entire line to try. Now, this video is not sponsored. However, I do have a discount code for you for the Your Skin products. You get a discount, I'm not sure what it is, and I think I get a small, small affiliate commission from it. But let me tell you, this is the product that I've been using the entire time. I wash my face with it every morning, every night. I do the whole skincare routine every single night. I know this stuff is incredible. It smells natural. It's good for you. It's not bad for your body. It uses all natural plant-based products. It's vegan and it's honestly incredible. I have not stopped using it since she gave it to me. So this has definitely been a part of the reason why my skin has gotten so much better. It's plumper. It's more glowy. It's refreshed. I really do believe that this skincare line works. She knows what she's been, she's doing. She's been in the skincare industry here in LA for years, for decades. So I do have a discount code for you. It'll be in the description below and I use the entire line. So thank you, Christine.
The next thing I did is affirmations. While washing my face with the Your Skin products, I talked to myself. I said, you have beautiful skin, you're glowing, you're beautiful, your skin is clearing up. I didn't put any negativity towards my acne, towards my pimples and whatever was happening in my face. Often when something negative might happen to our appearance, we freak out and we're like picking at it and looking at it and talking down to ourselves. negative self-talk. I did none of that. And I highly recommend staying away from negative self-talk and from obsessing. What you should do is every time you look at yourself in the mirror, speak highly of yourself. Speak lovingly to yourself, especially to the things that you're trying to change. I talk about something similar in my how to change your appearance video. Video. You can't hate things into changing. Love will change you. Love will upgrade you. Love will help you level up. So I'd wash my face, I'd tone my face, I'd hydrate my face, and I'd just speak loving thought, loving words to my skin. And you might have watched my Manifestation Monday video with Aaron where he talks about how he's reprogramming my subconscious mind. He would also always say, your skin is so clear, your skin is glowing. So there was like a subconscious mind reprogramming and I was actively and consciously speaking to myself and hyping myself up, giving myself love instead of tearing myself down because my body was experiencing some changes, like big deal. The last thing that I did is what I continue to do along with the Your Skin products, but this is the most important step, the most important. You don't have to spend any money to do it. You don't have to do anything. I mean, it will be a challenge because it's kind of like a self-development and personal growth kind of thing, but it is so important and that is emotional release. Now this emotional release thing will not only help with fixing um, acne or letting go of acne, it will also help with chronic pain, losing weight, or anything that you seem to be struggling with physically. I want you to think to yourself, if your physical or emotional pain or ailment, you know, acne, extra weight, if this was a person, who would it be? If this was an event, what would it be? If this was a memory, what would it be? For many of us, that answer will come to us right away. For others, you might need to sit with yourself or sit in, in, in meditation and set an intention to identify a tumultuous time in your life that maybe you've been holding on to. I feel like I experienced an emotional release a few times in the past few months and I feel like every morning after that emotional release, I was glowing, my skin had improved. I do feel that we keep emotions trapped in certain areas of our body, maybe in extra gut weight, in oily skin or acne, in chronic pain, spinal pain, neck pain, shoulder pain. I do feel that releasing emotions and emotional trauma will definitely help with appearance and with physical pain. Another thing that I was doing that is has to do with releasing emotions is being very honest about how I feel. Whenever anybody hurt my feelings or whenever I felt kind of wronged or slighted by anybody, especially somebody who's close to me, my friend or my loved one, I spoke to them about it and I communicated communicate and release your feelings and thoughts I feel like a lot of teenagers who experience yes acne is emotion is hormonal of course but I feel that teenagers who experience hormonal acne and adults if they were more honest with themselves and with others they wouldn't be holding on to something dirty I don't know if that makes sense, but it made sense to me and I really went through the process of releasing emotions, talking about how I feel, voicing how I feel, allowing myself to speak about how I feel and I do know and believe that that had an, a direct impact on my skin. I'm positive. And I tried it out because I had to kind of keep something from somebody that I wasn't ready to talk about and my face had like a flare up. It happens. And the second I was able to talk to them about it, to be honest, to have a face-to-face -face conversation, the next, the very next day, everything was basically gone. Our bodies react immediately to us holding things in, to us pushing things into our subconscious mind, into that bag that we hold over our shoulder, pushing them deeper and deeper down. We want to bring everything out. We want to be free. We want to release. And once you release, you will release acne, you will release weight, you will release chronic pain. It happens. Try that me the method of identifying or naming your pain or naming your ailment a person in your life. See who hurt you. Maybe it was yourself. Maybe it was a certain situation in your life. I identified th certain things in my childhood that I was holding on to really, really tightly. 
I think that that will really help you out. That along with the rest of the steps, the Your Skin products, you can use Your Lior for a discount on the website. They have incredible, organic, all natural, non-synthetic products, no chemicals, all plant-based. I definitely, I love Christine and I wanna support her. So if you guys want to, you know, support a woman entrepreneur, right here in LA, I recommend checking out her website. The link will be below. Don't eat, uh, stay away from gluten if possible. Maybe take on some zinc supplements and do the affirmations. Don't be hard on yourself. Being mean to yourself is not going to change you. Being nice to yourself is going to change you. That's the truth of the matter. That's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I love you so much. Thank you for spending some time with me. The time on my camera just turned to 11 11. That's why I was looking at it. Um, right, and until next time, as always, keep your vibrations way, way, way up.